Having come up with the idea for Compassionate Communities in 2016, we worked as a, a small group looking to develop the, the project, which we actually launched in February 2020 at a large event in Bath. No one in that audience had any idea that two weeks later we would be adapting Compassionate Communities as an emergency volunteer response. After launching the Compassionate Community project, we saw 2,500 people come forward to volunteer. People were all ready to do it. They just need a, a reason, perhaps, or an ask to do it. Within all of us, we have compassion. There is community, but it just needs to be brought together again. I've gone from supporting 300 volunteers to 2,500. Something that I would normally take months to develop processes, we've had to do in two days. So it was constant uploads, processing, cleaning the data, making sure that we had ways of contacting them and making sure they'd sent ID in and signed the handbook so that they were volunteering safely. People were then matched with people in the community that needed help and they helped them with food and medication and befriending calls. The first call I ever did was to a 92-year-old man um, who would basically thought that he was going to be left to die. He was crying down the phone and he was a really proud man as well, so he didn't really want to ask for any help. But we got him the help and by the end of the call he was really, really happy and he thought he had a lifeline. And I came off the call crying as well and it really kind of illustrated the need that we, you know, we needed to carry on with this and make sure that we helped everybody. We also worked very closely with Bath and North East Somerset Council and Virgin Care to set up the Compassionate Community Hub, probably one of the best examples in the country where you have the council, you have the health service, the charities and the volunteers all working together. And I would like to recognise the fantastic work of 3SG, Virgin Care and Baines Council in getting this up and running. And I give my heartfelt thanks to all of those who have given their time to help. What we want to do with the compassionate community is to encourage that feeling of, of helping and supporting each other and giving a bit more advice, a little bit more structure, so that this builds into something that makes Bath and North East Somerset a genuinely compassionate place over the coming years and decades ahead. We'll encourage a compassionate community in three ways. Through a network of individuals, through a network of organisations, and through a network of networks. A network of individuals will produce community connected training, training people up in the community to be able to help connect with their neighbours and friends in their everyday interactions. A network of organisations will be collaborating with organisations from the charitable sector, from companies, as well as statutory organisations. By bringing together a network of networks, it's harnessing those food groups, the churches, the charitable organisations that already exist and really getting those networks to speak to one another and achieve the vision of a compassionate community. Compassionate Communities is open to all, whether you're an individual or part of an organisation or a volunteer or someone that just wants to help. We've seen that thousands of people are willing to come forward and help each other in our community. What we want to do now is to build on that and the work that we've been doing since 2016 and encourage a genuine social movement that builds change in Bath and North East Somerset.